So in today's video, I will tell you everything you need to know about to start a cleaning business in Australia. Starting a cleaning company in Australia can be highly profitable and satisfying business to start. Starting a cleaning business requires some simple planning, some investigation, just like beginning any other kind of business. Cleaning service are a huge and growing industry. Labor services are highly in demand. Qualifications are not required. It's easy to acquire the skills necessary. There is a large number of different general and specialized cleaning service you can offer. High return on investment and low startup cost. Be your own boss. Flexibility to schedule work when you want to work. For special cleaning tasks, expenses are normally required so the hourly rate is higher on average. $50 to $100 per hour is most common for special cleaning services. However, some tasks will cost less or more depending on a variety of factors. Decide what type of clients you want to serve what geographical suburb or region will you work in will you focus on residential and commercial work will you offer general cleaning services special cleaning services or a combination of both here is a list of some services you could offer in your new cleaning business residential home cleaning commercial cleaning window cleaning carpet cleaning tiles and grout cleaning, leather cleaning, surface disinfection services, floor sealing, mold removal, cleaning and preventive treatments, crime scene cleaning, flood restoration cleaning, oven and barbecue cleaning, air conditioner cleaning, marble polishing, bin cleaning, pressure washing. Try and keep the geographical area you serve as small as possible in the beginning because it's best to have your clients close to each other to reduce your hours of travel to reduce your hours of travel time each week. This strategy definitely works well in bigger Australian cities like Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Canberra, Newcastle and Gold Coast. Even if you are starting a cleaning business in a regional location like Toowoomba, Central Coast, Byron Bay, Ballarat or Sunshine Coast, keep your clients close together for a better lifestyle bigger profit and less wasted time in the car. Starting a cleaning business from scratch versus buy a cleaning franchise. Many people who want to start a cleaning business ask, should I buy a franchise or start a cleaning business from scratch? Many people have been successful following both paths. Basically, you have three main options when starting your business and each comes with its own benefits and drawbacks. Option A, start a cleaning business from scratch. Option B, buy an existing cleaning business or option C, buy a cleaning business franchise part of a franchise group. How to register a cleaning business? Choose a business name that is unique memorable and relevant. When you come up with a few options, a great way to check if the name is available is to do a name search on ESIC check name availability web page. If you can buy the website URL domain name with your business name, most people choose a business name that they can also get the domain name for. There are lots of places to buy domain name like Ventral IP in Australia. Register your business name with Australian Securities and Investment Commission ESIC, which is also called ESIC. Get an ABN Australian business number. Apply for an ABN number through the Australian Business Register website. If you are not comfortable doing this process, a good accountant will set up everything for you for a small fee. You will need an 11-digit ABN, but it is quite easy to get one at the ATO Australian Taxation Office website. Set up a bank account for your business. Choose the right business bank account at the beginning. Changing bank accounts can be hassled down the track. There are quite a few comparison websites to help you choose. Keep track of finance and profit. You are required to keep track of your business income and expenses for tax purpose. Online accounting software like Xero QuickBooks makes this job easy. Your accountant can help you set this up if you need help because it makes their job much faster 
much easier when text time comes. With good system, you will be able to stay compliant with ATO requirement. Pay staff efficiently and keep track of where you are financially at time. So you need to apply for a license and permit. So apply for the required license and permit through the appropriate government agencies. Normally there are little or no special license or permit required for offering general cleaning services. When you start working in the building and construction industry, that can start to change. Legal agreement. Consider what legal agreement you may need to get started. You will find that some are available as free template online, but you are always best to seek professional advice. Decide on the type and levels of insurance you need. So secure your business insurance. Research and get advice from experts on the type of insurance required to protect your business. This may include public liability insurance, portable equipment and general property insurance, personal accident insurance for cleaners, business vehicle insurance, theft insurance and workers compensation insurance. Organize insurance coverage from reputable insurance provider. Determine the type of cleaning products, equipments and supplies you require to provide the cleaning services you will offer. Ensure the products you choose are aligned with your business value. It is also important to consider efficiency and speed of use when you select your cleaning supplies and equipments. Doing a great job fast is good for profitability and investing in tools and equipments that help you do that is great investment. A uniform is not compulsory but it can add a touch of professionalism to your new cleaning business. You might just start out by keeping it simple with a company polo shirt or similar. Allow for this in your budget if you think a uniform is a good idea. Hire employees. When you start you may have no employees but as you grow this will change. Make a plan and determine the number of employees you need now and into the future to meet the demand of your business. Plan and work towards being the business owner, not the cleaner. Advertise your job openings through online jobs website like seek.com, Facebook and LinkedIn. Build your cleaning service website. Build a website for your business that showcase your services and provide customers and potential clients with easy access to your business. All right, the most important question that how much does it cost to start a cleaning business? The cost to start a cleaning business in Australia can vary depending on many factors such as location equipment, marketing expenses. On average, most smaller startup business will cost you from $5,000 to $20,000. All right, guys, this is it for today. I hope I have provided you enough information to start a cleaning business in Australia. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all the latest videos and I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.